Is Effingham County in the middle of nowhere? Do you have to be missing multiple teeth to live there? Is it just a bunch of farmland? <laughs> Is Effingham County in the middle of nowhere? Do you have to be missing multiple teeth to live there? Is it just a bunch of farmland with nothing to do and people go to bed at eight o'clock at night because they're bored? All of these questions will be answered today and more on Unboxing Effingham. Effingham County is to the northwest of Savannah, Georgia. Towns like Guyton and Springfield and Bloomingdale and Rankin make up Effingham, which would be considered rural and suburban. Depending on where you live, it's roughly 30 to 45 minutes to downtown Savannah. So what exactly is the draw of Effingham? Well, it's not for the liquor laws, that's for sure. Effingham is a dry county. Now, that doesn't mean that you're not allowed to drink here, but they do make it a little more difficult to buy liquor. So check out this video above about Effingham County's liquor laws for more information. One of the biggest draws of Effingham is that it is more inland and therefore less likely to need flood insurance. Since it's on the west side of the city, the chance of requiring hurricane insurance and flood insurance goes down significantly. So you're still close to the beach and you can go there anytime you like, but it is a bit of a drive. If you wanna go surfing every day, you're gonna need to spend a lot of time in your car. And with gas prices doing what they're doing, that's a hard no for me. You also get a lot of house for the money in Effingham. Because you are farther from the downtown historic district, farther from the ocean, farther from rivers with deep water access, the houses typically cost less. Now this is great news if you wanna buy a large house with a big yard and you want something that is newer versus 150 years old. You're going to get a larger, newer house for the same price. Effingham still has a lot of farmland, but it is growing. There is new construction happening all around and some much needed housing is going in. With the current national housing shortage, this will bring much needed housing to Effingham County. So I am very grateful for that. We saw a ton of new residents moving to Effingham in the past two years, and there simply is not enough housing to accommodate everyone. There are no condos in the entire county. Isn't that strange? Only a couple of townhomes. So you tip typically get a standalone house with a good size lot if you're buying in a neighborhood with an HOA. However, out in the country, there are plenty of homes with acreage. If you dream of a home where you can sit on your back porch in your skivvies and no one is going to see you, Effingham may just be the place for you. There are also equestrian properties, neighborhoods with stables, places to board your horses. So if you're a horse owner, you can board your horse in town or in a neighboring town and not have to drive an hour every time you wanna go ride your horse. So what are the downsides of Effingham? Well, there are some historic homes that were built in the late 1800s and early 1900s that may or may not have been meticulously maintained over time. Then a brand new neighborhood of fancy homes goes in just down the street and you're forced to drive past the neglected properties on your way home. Because these houses are not in a homeowners association, no one is forcing them to keep the properties in good condition. So there may be a few eyesores here and there, and there's really not much you can do about them. But we just have to remember they were here first. Let's talk about the location. If you wanna go downtown for dinner, you're gonna to wanna to plan ahead. It'll probably take you 45 minutes to an hour with traffic, and longer than that if you're going way out toward the ocean. Luckily, Pooler is right next to Effingham and there are tons of dining and shopping options in Pooler. Here is a video we did about what Pooler has to offer. So if you're thinking you want something a little less country and with a little bit more stuff to do, Pooler might be a great option for you. Did I mention that we are realtors? If you have any questions about any of the towns in the Savannah metro area, you are in the right place. Just put your comments down below. We'd be happy to help you. What about critters and bugs and alligators? Yes, we have them all. If there's a pond in your neighborhood or on your property, there's a strong likelihood that if it doesn't have a gator in it now, it will soon. We do get mosquitoes and gnats occasionally, although if you're not next to a body of water, they are not typically that bad. Palmetto bugs, however, are everywhere in the Savannah area due to the humidity, so take my advice, just hire a pest control company who's gonna come spray your house once a quarter, you'll be much happier. What about schools in Effingham County? Come on folks, you know that due to fair housing laws, I'm not allowed to discuss that. But I did do a video once all about the schools in Effingham where I taught you how you can find out the information that you wanna know. So I'll link that video up above and you'll be able to find the information that you need to do your own research.
Does a serene country lifestyle sound just a little too boring for you? Well, maybe Savannah is more your style. Watch our unboxing Savannah video next to see if living closer to the ocean might float your boat. I thought you did that up. <laughs>